Hello everyone. Today we are going to have the new lesson for the unit number three, comedy nor capitalization. Capitalization is very important terms in law of business. Um, this term is describing an action where many people try to get more capital or money um, to help their business or company to uh, overcome their difficult period. This unit is divided into two sessions. The first session is about a rise issue. This term may be uh, approached in the previous lesson. I mean, the reading skill. But in this lesson, listening skill, there is a conversation between two people, a lawyer and a client. They are talking about these terms again. And in this conversation, you may get more explanation of the term and the re relevant information of these terms while listening to the conversation. There are several tasks that require you to, uh, to finish, all right? To, um, and after this lesson, I would like you to approach some objectives. The first one, vocabulary. Of course, a vocabulary is really important. And in this lesson, you will have opportunity to review vocabulary of comedy law and finance. And the next one, the importance of a lawyer in business. And after getting this uh, lesson, um, all of you guys may know the significant rules of a lawyer when he or she is dealing with the problems of business or company. Um, several essential terms in corporate finance we mentioned, um, I would like you to get them, approach them, and use them in proper ways. For the skill, um, you may listen for it, uh, you will listen for the main points um, with a list of information from the conversation. Um, you will listen to the conversation, then check whether the information is true or false. Answering questions and get feeling are very fam familiar with you. So in this lesson, you may have more, um, you have more opportunity to practice them more. And the last one, useful expression in conversation. This actually is for your speaking activities. This is where you have to practice with your partner and use the different expression, including some uh, common phrasal verb provided at the end of the lesson, then create your conversation. To talk about um, agree in your conversation to talk about uh, the topic given. Okay. The first part of our lesson is terms. Um, there are several terms here, and you have to or check the meaning, definition, and explanation of the terms by yourself and I don't want to show them on the screen. Um, just because at the end of a lesson, you also work with your partner to check the meaning or explanation of these terms later on, all right? Um, I can suggest you which is the suitable dictionary for looking up the meaning here. Um, of course, Cambridge Dictionary is the best one in this case. However, when going to um, the step of checking the meanings or uh, explanation, please focus on the usage, all right? Because there are a variety of uses or, um, or, or, or um, uh, explanation there. For example, security. Security is 
uh, this way. Hold up. Uh, yeah, this way. Security uh, will be in plural form, uh, singular form. Uh, this time it will be in, could be an uncountable noun or a countable noun. That's why try to um, try to get exact usage of this time in this case. Okay. Or um, the next word is default. You have to choose default or default. Um, because there are two ways to pronounce this word according to British or American accent. Okay. Please check it carefully. Um, when, when, when getting the meaning or explanation. Okay. Now the next part is the next part is about listening skill. Uh, for this activity, um, there are six questions on the screen. And six question here are from the conversation. But you don't need to listen to the conversation at this stage because you have to predict what the question is about. According to some uh, available words in each question, you may predict what information here. And don't worry if you cannot predict them because there is less information in each question. However, you have to uh, read them to get some information in your mind. And then, if you cannot predict or you cannot answer this question by filling the missing information in the gaps, to move to the next slide. And the, the answer will be revealed there. Uh, for the audio files, yep, I sent it to your, to your monitors a few weeks ago, and you can play the audio um, at this conversation. Then check the answers there. Okay. Now, move to the next slide for revealing your answer. All right. Now you can check your answer on this slide. Um, for this activity, is the right time for you to uh, check the information from the conversation? Number one to number eight are the information that are from the conversation. All right, now listen to the dialogue. Take the points Ms. Siebert asked about. All right. Um, play the, the conversation again and focus on the information or the topic they are talking about, particularly Mrs. Siebert, then decide true or false. But in this case, I want you to pick the true information. All right. Uh, for practicing, uh, you can predict the true information first. That means before getting or uh, before playing the uh, the conversation, check predict the answer. Then play the audio file for checking. Okay. Um. Yep. Because in the back of your book, you may have uh, you will have uh, the answer key part of this activity, including the script of the conversation. I suggest you not opening it because you are practicing listening. That's why focus on the screen or the video in front of you, then do it by yourself. You can check the answer. You can check the answer in your book um, after doing or after finishing everything, okay? And that's why I don't want to show the answer keys on the screen as well. Um, this task is about answering the 
the questions. There are five questions here. And also, please focus on some main, uh, some main words or terms using in each question. For example, number one, offered proportionally. Preemption for in number two, uh, or uh, number four, fully subscribed. Yep, I think they are uh, there are some necessary terms used in the conversation. However, you may get the answer or you may understand it well after answering this question and getting the information from the conversation. So, um, after answering this question, you may check the answer in the back of your book as well. Um, if you have difficulties in understanding these terms, you can read to me and I will give you clear explanation later on. All right. Um, all of these activities are from your book. In this slide, I don't want you to um, do anything from your book anymore, but you have to get further practice. Um, on your listening, all right. Um, in this task, you will you are going to hear a conversation between a lawyer, Mark, and a corporate client, Helen. Listen and finish the following task, all right. And the conversation will be divided into four parts in total. That's why please read the instruction of the instruction of each, each task carefully because the task will requ require you to listen to a certain part, all right? For example, task number one, listen to the first part of the conversation and find out the reason why Helen is contacting Mark, okay? Should play uh, the first part of the conversation and try to f answer the question why she is contacting her lawyer, all right? And task number two, listen to the second part of the conversation and correct the incorrect statements. Um, in this task, you are requested to recognize the wrong statement or the, the wrong answer, then correct them, all right? Um, the, uh, and the listening files of this task will be sent to you uh, with this video. And that's why you have to finish the task before March 18, 2020. Uh, 2020. The other task according to this conversation is task number three. Task number three, Re, um, is requesting you to listen to the third part and complete this sentence. It's only one sentence in this tag, but you have to recognize the missing information here. I don't give you the limitation of words or numbers in each plane. That's why feel free to, to, to um, answer this question, okay? And the last part is for listening to the final part and note down what Mark's final advice about churches is, okay? Um, the test will be done before March 18, 2020 is again. And there are two tests in total and you, all of you have to finish before the date, or before the deadline I'm showing you on the screen. After that, monitor will collect all of your uh, answers. Then send me the part of your answer through my email. All right. Um, for the language focus part, okay, uh, I'm giving you some phrasal verbs in the box. These are uh, the very common verbs used in the legal conversation in this case now try to recognize the meaning of 
the reserve verbs here, then filling them in the appropriate position here from number one to number eight. You don't need to send me the answers of this uh, at, of this assignment because I will give you the answer in the beginning of next week. I mean on Monday or on Tuesdays. Okay. The answer will be uh, will be sent to your monitor and please save your answer in your notebook and you can check the answer uh, from your monitor. Okay. Um, the last part for our lesson is practicing speaking. Um, read the instruction carefully on the top. Basing on the conversation between Helen and Mark, again, back to uh, the conversation between Helen and Mark, then remember the information that contained of their conversation. You have to find out your own partners and create a new situation, which is for the explanation of the essential terms in the beginning of, the, of this lesson, right? Uh, in the beginning of this lesson, I provide you with some terms and you have to check the meaning or explanation of those terms in the dictionary. Now, it's time for you to check or to double check your result with your partners. Then, use the box underneath, useful language, or you may include the phrase of verbs in the previous slide. As your, as your references, then practice speaking with your partner, right? Uh, you don't need to submit your um, practice speaking, your speaking practice, sorry, um, your speaking practice to me like the previous one. But if you have any difficulties or um, if you want me to, uh, to give you some feedback or comments, record your uh, uh, production, then send it to send it to my email. I will check and recommend it as soon as possible. Okay. Um, yes, this activity is optional, but you have to practice by yourself with your partner. Okay. Um, yes, after this, after this video, if you have any questions, feel free uh, to raise any question to my email and try to reach them and answer them um, as your expectations. Okay, thank you for your watching. See you next video.